This video describes Visicon's 3D measurement tools. They can be used to make spot measurements or create 3D dimensions on a model. Dimensioning tools can be used to quickly spot measure a model or add permanent 3D dimensions. Dimensioning tools include linear measurement between two points, automated clearance calculation, the ability to measure multiple points from one location, cumulative measurement along a multi-segmented line, surface area within a polygon, and angular measurement between three points. Improve the precision of dimensions by applying the right constraints. For example, constrain along the x, y, or z axes, or constrain the dimension along the face of a clip plane. This is very useful when trying to measure distances in a section. Customize your dimensions by adjusting the look and feel of them, or by adding comments that can show up directly on the dimension lines, eliminating the need for any further annotation. You can also modify the endpoints of any dimension by simply selecting them and moving your mouse. The visibility of dimensions is view specific, giving you full control of when they are visible. Items created on the default view are visible all the time and in every other view. However, dimensions created on user-defined views are only visible in the view they were created in. We'll switch to Visicon and try out the measurement tools. We're in a Visicon model and looking at a view with some measurements. Let's start by exploring how easy it is to modify existing measurements. If we come in here and grab this, this is a clearance dimension. You can see once it's highlighted and I grab one of the control points, I can modify it. The way the program works is it automatically detects any location where there's a clearance between two objects. So here you can see I'm moving around the perimeter of this circular column. If I move under the slab, I get the clearance between the two levels of slab or here within the door frame. As I move along the edge here, you can see it's picking up different locations where it's finding the dimension between the bottom of the beams of the canopy and the slab itself. Once one is selected and if we go to the properties, we can see that we can change things like its, its color. So we'll make it a green dimension. We'll add comments. This is our clearance. Scroll down. We can choose to show the comments. So now you can see that the comments are on this dimension. We'll go under measure and add a linear dimension. If we go from say this location to the corner of that beam, we saw that while we're editing that dimension, the XYZ dimensions are visible. What we can do is we can also come in and set the show axes always. And so now, if we unselect, we see that the axes are also permanently displayed. We can take this area measurement and move its vertices. And we can see here, if we select that, it has been updated to 176.3 square feet. We'll do the one to many. So if we take a corner face of this column, we can come in and now do multiple measurements along this perimeter. And what you can see is I can fully rotate and interact with my model while we're making the measurements. So now we have all of those one to many dimensions. We can do a multi-segment. So here, for example, we want to measure the perimeter of the core wall. So I can come from this location and go around the perimeter. That dimension there is 104 feet. We'll come in and add a clip plane. and we'll show a constraint. Let's assume I want to make a measurement between the center line of these two beams. I constrain to the clip plane and can now add a linear measurement from here to that location. In summary, 3D measurement tools allow you to extract more information from your models using Visicon's measurement tools. Communicate more effectively by creating 3D dimensions on your models with comments and don't lose the 3D context of your comments by marking up a 2D PDF. Thank you for watching our video. Contact sales at visicon.com or sales at adaptsoft.com to request your free intro version.